King Charles is at it again, you guys. I am telling you, this man, his team needs to teach Kate Middleton's team a thing or two about public relations because he just keeps on getting it right while Kate and Kensington Palace keep on getting it wrong. Okay, so just over this past weekend, there was a major, 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 major rumor spreading on Twitter. It even trended for a little bit, claiming that King Charles had passed away. Someone had claimed that the flags were at half mass outside of the palace and that BBC was on standby. They had turned all of their logos black and everything for a major announcement. And so naturally people assumed that King Charles was passing away because of his age. He just went through surgery. And then on top of that, he was diagnosed with cancer. But he and his team just went at, 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 and released complete, clear images of him. And I want to show you because let's compare and contrast this to the crap we've been seeing about Kate Middleton while they're trying to confirm proof of life, right? So I had to go to the Daily Feel for this. I hate this website. Look at all the advertisements everywhere. Just a horrible user experience, but I digress. So the article reads, Cancer-stricken King Charles is spotted leaving Windsor Castle and arriving at Clarence House in London after British Embassy in Moscow was forced to furiously deny Russian media claims that monarch passed away unexpectedly. So we don't need to read all of this. Let's just get into the photo. Look at that. It's in the car, just like the photos of Kate in the car were, except this time it's a clear and verifiable photo. This quite obviously is King Charles. Okay. You zoom in, you don't even have to zoom in, but let me just zoom in for good measure. And you can clearly see every wrinkle, every detail that this is King Charles in a car. Why aren't we seeing the same stuff when it comes to Kate Middleton? You know, it's slightly grainy and stuff, but it doesn't look like it's purposely made grainy the way that Kate Middleton's images have been made grainy. Take a look at this one that of a woman purported to be Kate Middleton. She's wearing these giant sunglasses, a synthetic wig, and, um, you know, it's grainy. F photo experts had claimed that the grain in this image was actually added in post-production. You know, and even with that fake grain, we can see that Kate is missing her signature mole. So it makes you wonder, why are they adding grain in post-production? Why is this a back-grade image? Why was this only released to U.S. gossip blogs, but nothing in the U.K.? How come every time we see King Charles, it's via the U.K., but every time we allegedly see Kate Middleton, it's via TMZ or Page Six? Very strange, right? Why is Kate Middleton's team pandering to the U.S.? Is the U.S. suddenly a Commonwealth country? Very weird. Even that video of uh, a purported Kate Middleton uh, strolling through that farmer shop, well, outside of that farmer shop, was released to TMZ and not to the British press. Very suspicious. And again, it was gr a grainy and super far. And the person taking it was posted up in a car. And uh, interestingly enough, in that video, the alleged William and Kate knew to look exactly into that car. Hmm. Interesting. So anyway, here's a photo of Charles. This one's a little bit more blurry, but still you can very clearly see that that is him, though I prefer this other initial image, you know, that's very, very close up of him. Yes, it's his side, um, but you still see like the majority of his face, three quarters of his face. It's not the back of his head. He's not observing bricks, counting them one by one, the way the alleged Kate was in the other video. Um, it's not him covered up in sunglasses and a synthetic wig like the first Kate Middleton was. Um, and it's certainly not him speed walking it through um, a, a shopping experience like that third video that we saw as well. Listen, and on top of that, the man has already released a video of him reading all of the cards of well wishes that were sent by his public as well. You know, he has been doing everything about his illness and recovery on a public basis, right? absolutely 100% correctly, while Kate's team has been dropping the ball at every turn. It makes you wonder, why is this man who's about twice Kate's age able to be seen on a regular basis? Why is he so active and mobile while Kate doesn't seem to be? You know, why isn't he hacking, um, you know, and Frankensteining Instagram fake images while Kate's team has to resort to that. You know, why are we getting crystal clear photos of him while Kate's team is unable to provide that? Why is he actually, you know, providing content to the people who matter um, to him as the King of England, AKA the English British press, whereas Kate's team is working with Backgrid to provide things to the American press.
very, very strange, but I digress. It's nice to see King Charles out there debunking the claims that he had passed away. His team did not waste any time to um, getting ahead of this story. And they've done a wonderful job of providing clear images. All this does to me is reinforce the idea that something is deeply wrong with Kate. Either she is not playing ball or she's not capable of playing ball because perhaps the Spanish journalist is correct about the alleged coma, or perhaps it's something even worse than that. You know, I don't know what it is, but just seeing the way that bo both of them are handling it and the way that it couldn't be any more different leads me to believe that something is super seriously wrong with Kate Middleton. And this latest video that they tried to release where everybody says it's fake, including Andy Cohen, you know, going on the record to say publicly that it's fake. Um, we're still not buying what it is that Kensington Palace is selling. We're listen. What's the date today? It's March 19th, only two weeks until Easter. Will Kate actually turn up to the Easter festivities or will she not? Hmm. And what are we going to believe if she doesn't turn up? If they say, oh, she's not feeling well. Meanwhile, we just saw this video of her skip hopping, doodling, you know, her way outside carrying a giant bag and everything as if she didn't have a care or injury in the world. It's going to be a tough sell. It's already a tough sell, this video, based on the fact that Kate couldn't sit for a proper Mother's Day photo, right? Because she was so sick. But she was able to do this. Kate couldn't sit down the same day for a St. Patrick's Day celebration that would be honoring her, but she was able to do this. None of this is adding up, and Kensington Palace is running out of time to explain it. I don't think... Um, any of us are going to accept any kinds of excuses as to why Kate is not able to be present for Easter celebrations if she's not able to be present for Easter celebrations. You know, let me ask you guys this in the comment section. Do you think we will actually see legitimate Kate Middleton for Easter celebrations? Or do you think that that is out of the cards right now? And now seeing another crystal clear image of King Charles in a car, are you starting to wonder why every time we see Kate, it's grainy and we're never able to 1000% confirm it's her? Let me know why or why not in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more royal news, pop culture videos, and reality TV recaps. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.